Welcome Irish fans to New York City. It is Wednesday morning. The Irish at their shoot around here at Madison Square Garden for their late game tonight against Rutgers and Jordan Cornette. Last night Rutgers looked scary good against DePaul. How about a name nobody's really heard of in the college basketball scene? Wally Judge, 20 and 10. Now this is a kid that's been averaging seven minutes a game for Rutgers throughout the season. He comes out, he's very productive yesterday. He's probably going to be a big factor in the game. So it's a new look Rutgers team. How we match up, we'll find out tonight. But it's definitely not the team we saw just a month ago. Wally Judge set a Big East tournament record. He went nine for nine from the floor last night. And Rutgers tonight is playing for big for postseason eligibility. If they win, they qualify for postseason. If the Irish beat them, they do not. So a lot on the line for Rutgers, a lot on the line for the Irish. Here's what Coach Bray had to say after this morning's shoot-around. After completing the shoot-around at Madison Square Garden this morning, the Irish came here to Sports Club LA for their scouting report walkthrough. And, and now it's time to go play in your last Big East tournament and there's a lot on the line tonight. Yeah, there really is and we're playing a team I think that's playing very well. Of course, we had to escape with a win at our place, uh, but I thought Rutgers front line played great last night. Their guards are confident. They're in a real good rhythm. So we've got a dogfight on our hands tonight. We always talk about wanting to get the bye, but the bye has some baggage in that they've played, you haven't, and they're playing for their postseason eligibility tonight. If they win, they can go to the NIT. If they don't win, they don't go. There's certainly a lot for them to play for, and you're right. I think sometimes when you win, the night before, you have some momentum going out to the court, but I know we're excited to play here. I think we've been really good and focused. Uh, man, I want us to go out and have fun and attack, but we're going to have to defend and rebound to win the game. Have the keys changed at all from the first time you play? Because Eli Carter, their leading scorer, was playing, then he broke his leg a few weeks ago. They are a little different. Yeah, they are. I mean, I think we have to be really good against their front line. You know, big guys have beat us up a little bit lately, so that concerns me. Uh, I, get, I get a little worried about Mack and Seeger shooting the ball getting they, they can shoot it well and they just really light it up from three uh, but can we keep it to one and done be good against their zone. They, they're a team that's shown a lot of zone. and uh, But it, we, we, we need to expect game situations just like the last Rutgers game. I'm kind of guilty of this too because I just said to you a lot on the line tonight, but you've had a heck of a season. You're firmly in that other yeah. tournament that begins next week. So I know you want your guys just go out and play. Yeah, no question. And, and you know, I, I think uh, for us, everybody talks about, you know, if you if you see this team down the road or, you know, Friday night, we can, we're not. We, believe me, we can't think past tonight. You're trying to survive in advance in tournament play. Doesn't matter if it's the Big East tournament or the NCAA tournament. Um, if we can pull out a nail biter tonight, I will be the happiest guy in New York City. Of course, the Irish earned a first round bye at the Big East tournament with their solid regular season performance. And you always want to get the bye, but sometimes the bye comes with baggage as well, Jordan. Yeah, it's the age old question. Is it better to have got one game under your belt and you come out here and you're acclimated to what's going on in the scene? Or does it prove that the Irish might be stagnant having sat around for the last couple of days and only practiced and not had a chance to play yet? I look for the Irish to get off to a quick start. I think that's most important today. Rutgers is going to be ready to play because they've already been out here less than 24 hours prior. The Irish need to come out game ready and get off to a quick start, something that's kind of hindered them throughout the season. The mantra for the entire Big E season is still true tonight. You better play well. If you play well, you win. If you don't play well, you can get beat. With Jordan Credit, I'm Jack Nolan with the Irish at the Big East Tournament in Madison Square Garden.